and they disengage as Kamara, I think, was inviting Saul for a little dance. But oh, here we go. Just scores! Oh, what a nice... Oh, was. Hey, I'll tell you what, a bounce like that, you and I could finish that one off. Well, other than the fact we probably couldn't have got where you, to where you had to be. Absolutely. But. Kamara darted for the front of the net, and a tricky little bounce off the back wall presented itself in front, and in one fell swoop, Anthony Kamara fires a bullet past the goaltender, Maxwell. A back into Murphy. Murphy sizing things up from the blue line. He'll get a feed to the near wing into Atkinson. Now in front. Oh, what a passing play. Dornbosch back door took a feed threaded in front by Jerry D'Amigo and deposited the shot in behind parts. D'Amigo with a terrific feed from the near side corner. And Dornbosch came in undetected as he didn't show up on the radar defensively for the Spirit. We're tying it a goal apiece. Here come the Spirit. McFarland. Able to sidestep a check. John McFarland looking dangerous in front. He left it there for Herman Gildo with a shot. In front, they score! Vincent Trocek right at the lip of the crease. That's a good goal. Peter Herman Gildo put the pass right where it needed to be. And Vincent Trocek just gave it a little nudge in behind the goaltender, Maxwell. And the Spirit counter with a power play goal of their own. And they take the lead again. It's 2-1. As the faceoff comes in Saginaw's backyard, around the board, Sherrod trying to get it into Saad. It's picked up by Landeskog, dangerous as always, as he lurks at the blue line. Now Landeskog a shot, and he scores. Gabriel Landeskog was allowed to roam on the left-wing side, and he fired a bullet past Parks, and we're tying it two apiece in the dying seconds of the second period. On the stick now of Atkinson, the dangerous Atkinson in the high slot, gets the wrist shot away, big juicy rebound in front, and it was picked up by Landis Cog, and a series of saves required and made by Maverick Parks in tight. Hustling into the corner to try and pick it up, McFarland, good sustained pressure here now by the Rangers, Murphy with a drive, the OHL leader in defenseman goals, gets it away now, here comes Crescenzi with a move in front, and Maverick Parks at the goal line, able to pick it up, and now he's kind of handling one of the Rangers, who got in a little too close for comfort, but... Katanachi, good body check thrown there on him by Saad. D'Amigo carries on, though, for the Rangers. He circles a wagon in front, a centering pass. Oh. Katanachi couldn't pull the trigger back to the line. Murphy wants to get the shot away. It's loose in front, and Parks acrobatically. A desperation save with the arm to kick it aside. Great goaltending by Maverick Parks. As it's distributed now by the Spirit, Archibald. Plays it in behind the Rangers net. Jasper is there. Big body check thrown there by Kamara. Now Crescenzi's going to go after Kamara. Crescenzi didn't like that hit on Kamara. Kamara now coming back on Crescenzi. If he didn't like that hit, he's not going to like what Kamara just did to him. Kamara so and Crescenzi involved in the first significant altercation of the night. Kamara points over at Cody Saul as well. John McFarland in behind the Rangers net. He'll pop it back to the blue liner, O'Connor, who feels that pass. Now into Herman Gildo, a shot oh. right on in front, and Brandon Saw tipped it a fraction wide. We'll just feed it into the Rangers zone to Legan. Playing it there, all the way back to the blue line. Prout wants to find a passing partner, does in the encroaching. Schwartz oh. in front, Siska there deflected. Another chance, and it's wired into the pad of Maxwell by O'Connor. A good sequence there, strung together by the Spirit. It remains 2-2 with four and a half left to go in the third period. McFarland was lurking at the blue line. Now here they come, three Saginaw Spirit players go. break out up the left wing side. Here comes John McFarland, who pulls up, gets the shot away. Oh, oh and it I just tipped it wide right there now. by Schwartz. After the rebound was available at the side of the net. As the Rangers advance deep into the Spirit zone with eight seconds left to go. In the overtime session, Landis Coggin behind the net, a threat every time he's out there. Walsh does a good job to bury him into the boards, and Paul. And that will be the end of overtime, and the shootout will commence. First shooter, second on Garrett Ross. Garrett Ross makes his way towards the pocket center ice. Ross picks it up. Here he comes. And on top of Brandon Maxwell, Garrett Ross makes his move, and he fumbles the puck, and a shot there by Ross after he lost possession of it. He and had him. He had him, but he just mishandled it at the last moment. Katanachi for the Rangers. Right now, advantage Kitchener, as Ross could not 
solved the situation in front of Maxwell. Here comes Kananachi in on top of Maverick Parks. Kananachi to the outside, and Parks makes the save as he slid over and outfoxed the shooter, Kananachi. I give you Vincent Trocek. Up next for the Spirit. Vincent Trocek will twirl the stick a time or two. He doesn't disappoint as he approaches the pocket center ice, racing in there full speed ahead. Vincent Trocek makes a move oh. upstairs with a shot nowhere near the net as Trocek and the Spirit are 0 for 2. Jerry D'Amigo for the Kitchener Rangers, the newcomer. French from the American Hockey League. He's off to a very distinguished start in the OHL, as you would expect. Here comes Jerry D'Amigo in on top of Maverick Parks. D'Amigo a shot and a glittering glove save by Maverick Parks, who reeled out the mitt, and that is a great shot by D'Amigo, an even better save by Parks. John McFarlane now up for the spirit as the shootout still is without a goal. McFarland trying to change that here on top of Maxwell. Here comes McFarland. Come oh, moving up, beauty, and he stops it onto the crossbar. John McFarland. That's a nice move, right? Oh, there. what a terrific move. Feathery touch in front by McFarland. And now Ryan Murphy, who leads all OHL defensemen in goals, will try and keep it going for the Rangers. Murphy in on top of Maverick Parks. And Maverick Parks makes the save, and the Spirit win it in a shootout. You want to talk about a weekend that the Spirit needed in the worst way? They deliver. Overtime last night against the attack. A shootout win in here tonight against the Rangers. Great stuff. As the Spirit, they're back in business, gang. They win a 3-2.